The Sukhoi Su-34 is a true masterpiece of Russian military engineering. More than just a fighter bomber, it uniquely combines maneuverability, firepower, and long-range capability. With its bold design and unusual features, like the side-by-side -side cockpit and the ability to carry an impressive payload of weapons, the Su-34 dominates the skies, standing out both for its efficiency and the distinctive details that make it one of a kind. In this video, we'll explore everything that makes this aircraft an indispensable part of the Russian arsenal and how it has been used, including in the conflict in Ukraine. Buckle up, because this flight promises to be extraordinary. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, take a moment to subscribe now and turn on notifications. That way, you won't miss any videos like this one. The Sukhoi Su-34, nicknamed Duck or Duckbill in Russia, is a twin-engine fighter bomber designed to tackle challenges on the ground and in the air, flying long distances while carrying an impressive payload of weapons. Its peculiar design is unmistakable, with a side-by-side -side cockpit configuration that inspired its nickname. This seating arrangement, unusual for modern combat jets, enhances communication and integration between the pilot and co-pilot during complex missions, showcasing the aircraft's functional design. Another curious aspect is how pilots access the cockpit. While traditional fighters use external side ladders, the SU stands out with an integrated ladder built into the landing gear at the bottom of the plane. Additionally, the cockpit is spacious enough for pilots to stand or even rest during long flights, with one of them able to use a sleeping bag. But what about the myth that the SU-34 has a bathroom and kitchen? Well, this claim is somewhat exaggerated. There's a basic system for physiological needs, consisting of a funnel and a chemical collector cylinder. Not exactly luxurious, but certainly an improvement over the usual alternatives, like disposable garments. As for the kitchen, it's more of a compact space with a shelf for rations, a heated flask for drinks, and a small microwave-like device. It's not homey comfort, but it provides essential amenities for long missions. Speaking of long distances, the Su-34 proved its range in 2011 by completing a non-stop mission from Western to Eastern Russia, covering about 4,350 miles one way and another 4,350 miles on the return with aerial refueling support. This 12-hour operation highlighted the importance of providing a minimum level of comfort for pilots during such demanding missions. The myth about the bathroom likely gained traction after a prototype Su-34 was displayed at an air show in the early 2000s, where a toilet was photographed inside the cockpit. However, this feature was never included in production models, as the space was later optimized for other essential equipment. Besides, there were serious doubts about how it would be used in practice in an aircraft designed to perform fighter maneuvers. Imagine the possible chaos. Another aspect that makes the Su-34 unique is its impressive payload capacity. It can carry between 12 and 14 tons of weapons externally. Furthermore, it combines this massive capacity with the range of a strategic bomber and the agility of a fighter, fully justifying its classification as a fighter bomber. Notably, this capability was only recently matched by the U.S.'s F-15EX Eagle II, over 15 years after the Su-34 enters service. One of the aircraft's most notable features is the large cylindrical section at the rear of its fuselage. This area houses a drag chute, essential for landing on short runways, as well as an auxiliary power unit, additional fuel, and even a rear-facing radar antenna. However, the true capabilities of this radar remain unclear. It's debated whether it can detect aircraft or if it serves merely as a warning system against enemy radars and long-range missiles. The Su-34's size and weight are also remarkable. With an empty weight of 22 tons, it's five times heavier than an F-5 fighter and three times heavier than a Saab Gripen, even larger than the colossal MiG-31. This makes the Su-34 a dominating presence in terms of size and weight, yet it retains full operational capability. The Su-34's performance in the war in Ukraine has brought both challenges and advancements. Early in the conflict, it faced difficulties due to the lack of precision-guided bombs, forcing it to fly closer to targets and leading to significant losses, particularly in the first year of the war. Reports indicated a shortage of both precision-guided munitions and trained pilots to use them. 
However, as the conflict progressed, the aircraft began employing glide bombs launched from dozens of miles away, significantly reducing losses to enemy air defense systems. More recently, the Su-34 received a major boost to its arsenal. The integration of the three-ton FAB-3000 bomb, much larger than any bomb used by Western jets, which typically max out at one ton. Thanks to its massive payload capacity, the Su-34 is the ideal platform for these bombs, which according to the Russians, can glide up to 50 miles when dropped from high altitudes. Additionally, the aircraft has been equipped with the KH-47M2 Kinzhal hypersonic missile, previously used only by the MiG-31, further cementing its status as one of the most versatile and lethal platforms in modern aviation. The Su-34 is a true icon of modern military aviation. Combining firepower, range, and innovation, it stands out as a multifunctional platform capable of conducting strategic missions and tackling challenges in air and ground combat. Despite the initial difficulties in the war in Ukraine, it has demonstrated adaptability and efficiency by incorporating advanced weaponry, solidifying its role as a key asset for the Russian Air Force. If you enjoyed this video about the powerful Su-34, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It's free and helps us continue delivering quality content about military aviation. Like, share, and leave your thoughts in the comments. See you next time.